Well, it'd be harder to think that you can play better than we did today. Um, gets the number three team in the country on a, on a long winning streak. Uh, our guys were incredible all day. Pitching, defense, offense, that's as good as, as, as you can play baseball, in my opinion, and really proud of the guys for that effort. You know, you dropped a series last weekend on the road. How important is it, is it to come home and hold serve and win a series against the number three team in the country? Well, I think it speaks to what the league is. It always has been like this, but the home court is so important in our league. When you have good versus good versus good all the time, uh, it's just the home the home field's important. And our crowd was really good today. And the, the electricity in the ballpark was really good today. And our guys fed off that. So. Uh, we felt it last week at Ole Miss, and this week we had it in our favor. And that's what this league is. You've got to try to, you know, play your best baseball all the time. But when you're at home in this league, it's a big deal. Last week, all the home teams won. Uh, I don't know if that's a, a, a – it's too early to say that's a, a trend, but the home field advantage means something. Um, simply put, is that the best you've seen Eli throw in a South Carolina uniform? And how pleased have you been with the way he's grown into his role this season? Yeah, it has. It was. Uh, I mean, he's he's evolved. He's matured. Uh, he's maybe not the sexiest Friday night starter you'll see, but he's mature. He's got good stuff. He manages the game. He's competitive. His team loves playing behind him because he's such a great team guy. And uh, he really set the tone for us today, really set the tone. And I think everything kind of fell in line behind his effort. Jack, then Alan. Mark, you guys seem to have a lot of two out hits that led to a ton of runs today. Can you just kind of speak to the way you guys were able to hit in those types of positions today? Well, again, it starts with our two big dogs in the middle, right? When Moose and Ethan Petrie are taking really good at bats, then everything falls in line behind it. And we look like a really good offense. When they struggle a little bit, then, you know, then not so much. So to have them play like they did today in such an important series uh, just speaks to what we're capable of. You know, we haven't, we haven't been that a whole lot this year, but we have, we have maintained confidence on the inside that we will get there, that we are capable of that because we've seen it a million times in the past. So uh, when those guys are doing that and Jackson's – you know, doing what he's doing. And Parker has gotten back to Parker. It's just, it's a good offense when it's all clicking the way it's supposed to be and the way we envisioned it. And again, today was just an indication of, of how we can pitch, of how we can hit, and we just need to continue to work to make sure we, we try to put it all together as often as possible. Now, uh, this is kind of a new lineup configuration. About a week ago, you made the switch to Parker in the leadoff spot. What do you like about the way this sets up one through nine specifically? And then also an unrelated note, do you have a starter in mind for tomorrow yet? TBD tomorrow. Don't not quite sure. I want to talk to Matt and get his thoughts. Uh, so we'll probably be able to announce that later tonight uh, or first thing in the morning. Um, but the lineup, again, there's a, there's a balancing act between stability and consistency with your lineup. And then there's a time to say, all right, we've got to try something different to spark it. And I thought last week, last Sunday, to be, ex to be precise, it was time to, to flip some things around and try to spark it. And Messina in the two hole has been very good. And Petri in the cleanup spot has, has looked very comfortable. And Kennedy has done a really nice job in the three hole and just on and on. So uh, for a long time, we had stayed consistent with where those guys were. Last week, we thought, hey, it's time. It's time. And so far, so good. Uh, the fifth inning of the second game, you had a big double play there to end the top half of the inning, then scored four in the bottom half. Was that defensive play kind of a little springboard for, for you guys offensively? Absolutely. Absolutely. That was a huge play. It was first and third, one out. Uh, they have a chance to extend the lead right there. And Tippett made an incredible play, uh, range play. Again, it's great to have um, you know athletes on defense, and especially at the shortstop position, having range can change the game. And it turned that whole inning around. And so, turning that double play and then bringing us into the dugout with that momentum, and obviously we had a big inning offensively there. So that stuff it's, it feeds off each other, no question. Uh, back on Eli, real quick. Ten of his 19 outs on the ground. How much is that? A, when that happens, how much is that a telltale sign that that he's where you want him to be? Yeah, it, no doubt. Him. I mean, we've got. 
you know, in the, in the age of, of riding fastballs and guys throwing 95, uh, we, we have some guys that still do the old-fashioned sink it with good velocity, but we sink the ball maybe more than some teams. And that puts an onus on the defense to play really good behind our guys, which we did for the most part today. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's a guy, again, he, he can move the ball around, but with command. And that's, that's a nice thing to have. Any more questions? All right. Thank you. Thank you.